Hi guys, it's Lee. I hope you're doing well and having a, uh, a good day and I hope you have a better weekend. I just wanted to do an update on some products I talked to you about about a month and a half, maybe two months ago, and I wanted to give these products a fair shot. And um, I just wanted to uh, fill you in. So um, I had told you that I purchased the Briogeo Rosarco Repair uh, line. And it's basically uh, for people with hair like mine that's dry, coarse, frizzy, and um, needs moisture. And my hair does. It's It always needs moisture. And so I purchased the um, repair shampoo, the repair conditioner, the deep hydrating or deep conditioning mask, and then two um, styling products. One was the leave-in conditioning spray and the other is the blow-dry perfection and heat protectant. Now these products have no sulfate, no silicones, and no parabens in it. And um, I have to tell you, after using them almost exclusively, I really, really like these products and I definitely would purchase them again. I was extremely um, surprised how much I like the Repair Shampoo. It's very, very moisturizing for my hair um, and it doesn't seem to strip it at all, which I loved. Um, and it seemed to just put moisture back in. And I was surprised that the daily conditioner it was pretty nice too. It did, uh, did condition my hair pretty well. Um, I will say for any shampoo or conditioner you're going to use, whether it's a daily or a heavy leave-in, at least for me and my type of hair, I always, always need to get the buildup out. So I use some type of cleansing cream once a week or every other week. Like uh, I think I, I'm using the Redken cleansing cream right now um, because it really is, is not too big of a stripper of your hair. But um, you just there's just nothing that's ever going to continue to work on your hair if you have buildup. So I still have to use something additionally to get all the gunk, the styling products, and the buildup out of my hair because I do think these would build up. Um, uh, you know after using them for a while but um, they're very nice they're very very nice shampoo very nice conditioner and they work nicely for my hair and I definitely will keep these in part of my um, rotation I do use a lot of different products I'm always on the lookout for new new products but these are um, as far as the newest ones I've tried so far and my favorites I really am liking these uh, products right now now the leave-in conditioning spray is very nice I also use um, use it uh, after to just add a little uh, more moisture into my hair and it's it is very nice too and then this blow dry um, perfection and heat protectant cream I like this as well now I don't use this all the time because I don't blow dry my hair um, all the time but I do like this because it does help with the, um, the it makes your hair it seems like it blow dries it um, with less frizz and more uh, looks a little more silky and more manageable plus it has a heat protectant in it which I like so I really like this this is gonna last me a long time though but these products are very nice if you haven't tried them they are expensive um, I did get a sale on these I think it was 20% off um, and they also have, offer a 30-day un unconditional money-back guarantee which I think is great because you know you are putting out a pretty penny for these but if you are Thinking about trying them, like I said, I would try and get a sale if you can, and then um, if you do decide to buy them, um, you will get your money back if you don't like them. So um, that's just an update on that. I am going to put it in part of my hair uh, shampoo conditioner rotation, and um, hopefully they'll continue to work just as well down the road, and I may come back and update you uh, about this uh, down, down the road uh, later. The other thing I talked to you about was the NARS... Hot Trist cheek palette. I told you right off the bat I love the colors and I also said that they were very very um, silky and they're very glowy and I still have to tell you I still really love this palette. I'm very glad I kept it. Um, I think it's very hard to get now and it is not a, it's not a cheap palette but I suppose if you figure it out you get three well you get four um, blushes and then two um, highlighters you know it's probably not such a bad deal I think it's 60 something dollars um, but I honestly have never really liked NARS blushes before but I really really do like these like this blush now I think it's on not not very pigmented so if you're a woman that likes your mattes um, and you're afraid of a glow uh, 
palette, cheek palette, I would try this because you really need, you really can blend this up and get it as pigmented as you want. Um, and I don't think it's going to be too glowy for your skin. And I don't think, um, I, I, I just, I think that it, it, it's, it's sheer enough that you would like it and still get a nice glow. But I just love these. I can see these colors um, on the, uh, you know, I'm using the two on the right here. Uh, these here for for pretty much right now because we're in the winter season and then I can see using the two in the middle of course but you can mix them up sometimes I'll um, combine them and even swirl my brush in all four of these here and put it on my cheek but I just I just really really like these this palette I'm glad I kept it now in the uh, decision of me trying to keep this palette, I actually ran across this other one in Tarte and I would never have purchased this one just because I think that the colors are so similar. And this is the Tarte, I mean, Tartiest Pro Glow and Blush Palette. I was in Ulta, I had some coupons, I had some points, I had a bunch of stuff that I just couldn't turn down and say no on. So I was able to get this palette for another, a really good deal. And if you, I don't know if you can see, they are similar in color to me, um, close enough to, with the NARS, which is why I wasn't going to keep this because I thought, no, even though I got a really good deal, I think I paid about 20 some dollars for this. And I think this, I, I'm not sure how much this palette is. I'm sorry, but I, it's not $20, but I got it for 20, but I didn't think I was going to keep it because like I said, to me, it's similar to the NARS assist but the I've tried in our, our Tarte um, eyeshadows and I love them I've never tried their blushes because usually they're all mattes that I've seen again this is another one it's a uh, it's a glow or a shimmer blush but it is not something to be afraid of ladies it really really isn't now this one is extremely extremely pigmented and I would say if you're going to buy this and try it I would Tread lightly at first, just to you know, see what how your the color is going to play with your skin, and if you have to go back in again to build it up. But boy, does this palette! It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. It's not um, it's not overly uh, glowy or shimmer. Um, the four four uh, blushes here on the bottom, and then you have a highlighter up top here on the left, and then a bronzer, which I really love as well but I just couldn't send this palette I just couldn't I had to keep this palette too so I'm stocked up for blushes for a long time now but truly 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 this palette almost I like better almost than the NARS um but uh they like I said they're similar in color almost but I I just I just love them both and this one is wow I really am glad I bought this and I really am glad I kept it so um if that's an option if you cannot find this palette and you don't want to spend 65 this is not I don't believe this was 65 it was I think it was for a little maybe over 40 I don't remember I'll put it in uh, this description box below but um, if you can't find this palette I would highly suggest trying this Tardius Pro Glow and Blush it's just a phenomenal phenomenal cheek palette and then the last thing I did not talk to you about but I did purchase on Amazon um, I've been using a new face but I've been using aloe vera on my face when I use uh, the new face to cut, you know, as a conductor, the gel conductor, but I wanted to find something different. And I found this, it's the um, Advanced Clinicals Collagen Anti-Aging Gel Mask. And it is a, it looks like, it's it's got aloe in it. It looks like aloe, it's green in color. But boy, do I love this when I'm using my new face. It, you don't even need a lot. You just put it on your face, um, you know, turn on your new face and go to town and it lasts throughout the, I do a new face five minutes on one side and then five minutes on the other and you don't need, like I said, you don't need a lot of this. And I think it was under $20, but this is very, very, very nice mask. Um, even if you want to use it as a gel mask and you don't want to use with new face, it'd be wonderful too because it just makes your skin bouncy and moisturized and hydrating and I just um like I said just put this on my face uh I do one side five minutes and then the other side five minutes so um very highly recommend this on Amazon I'll put the um price up below too and I think it's under twenty dollars but this is a very good alternative to the new face gel which I think is not that great especially for what you pay 
uh, for it. But okay, anyhow, that, that's all for today. Um, I will come back to you with some other um, videos. I am going to do an empties video here shortly. I haven't had a chance to do one because quite frankly, I forgot to save my empties. I'm such a person that hates clutter. I got to throw, you know, get it out, out of my uh, line of vision. So I've been trying in the last two months to save some stuff here. So I'm going to share some empties with you and some other things uh, down the road here. But I just want to thank you for watching. Again, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And um, let me know what you guys think. Give me your thoughts below. And um, until the next time, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.